So today we're reviewing The Joker. Send in the clouds. We saw this last night. We got back pretty late, but we are reviewing it now. So The Joker, this is a movie that I really wasn't insanely hyped about. I was very interested by the trailers. You know, Joker's the most famous villain ever. And Joaquin Phoenix decided to take on this role. And so what were your initial thoughts of the film? And going in, I didn't really have much uh, expectations either. Uh, I like DC uh, characters a lot more. I'd say you're more of a Marvel guy, more of a DC. But I, I mean, we both like both worlds. And uh, the character of the Joker, I've always wanted to know what created Joker, like how did he become... I know there's a lot of different storylines probably in the comics of how he became Joker, but I just wanted to know like how, what the origins were for him. Uh, so going in, like I said, it was pretty similar to Kenny, but I'd say walking out, I thought this was a really, really good movie, and uh, it did what it was supposed to do uh, for the purpose of a Joker movie. This movie, it's like, it's not a movie... I did not walk out of this movie satisfied... I just thought this movie was it's, yeah, it was really good though. It's just it's not a movie where you're not rooting for someone necessarily. This is a villain. So walking out of this movie, it's like at least in my opinion, you hate the Joker. But this is definitely a great movie, and there's just so many so many shocking moments. This movie is just that's the best word to describe it. It's just shocking, and it's just moment after moment. You don't know what is gonna happen, and I definitely thought this was a great movie. And, like I said, it's a different kind of movie. There's really not someone to root for. And that's what makes it such a different kind of movie. What are your What are your biggest positives about Joker? I'd definitely probably say start with the main, the, the guy who played Joker, Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, he definitely, Joaquin Phoenix was definitely the standout of this film, obviously. He's on, he's just, I think, I, I think every single shot of the film has him on screen for the most yeah. part. And it's a story just told from his perspective. If he didn't pull it off, this movie would have failed. But he pulls it off. He really portrays a person that's kind of... He's already kind of going insane. But then as the movie goes on, things happen. And you really can just believe how the Joker really becomes the Joker. And how he becomes this, like... Not only this crazy person, but starts this movement of these bad people in, this, in the city, too. And uh, it really just builds... It really just creates the Joker in an awesome way. Uh, and I'd say that. I'd also say... So a lot of the comedy in this film worked for me. Almost all of it worked for me, really. There was no jokes that fell flat. And uh, the, the action... There wasn't really an action as far as, like, the few, f like, fight scenes that there were, like, killings and stuff, I thought was done really well, too. One was very, very well executed in a way that looked really realistic. And, yeah, the shocking parts definitely, I thought, really helped make the movie a little more entertaining, too. It's just, like, things that were... Just kept happening. And for me, honestly... The fact that there wasn't much action, there wasn't a negative for me because, I, I, I mean, I was invested in the character. I wanted to keep, like, he was just, like, there was really no boring scene to me. Like, there was, I, there was nothing, I did check my phone for the time, but that wasn't really because I was bored. Just, like, I just, I don't know, I, 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 like, just the guy sitting on screen, like, with his mom or talking to someone, like, everything was just interesting about him on screen. I wanted to see, like, what would happen. So, it didn't, the film definitely didn't drag for me. And uh, I just thought also the world that it had built, even though it was supposed to be a one-time deal, there were some things I'm going to talk about in the spoilers that really was really, really one of my favorite pauses that I came and talked about in the non-spoilers. So. Yes, yeah, seriously. There's so many things that... There's one thing in particular that I could not believe they were doing. And like I said, I, we've even been talking about this for the past few hours, just about different things about this movie. You think back... You can think back to so many things. What happened? Like, did this happen? Or is this happening? And there's just so many shocking moments. It's really just shocking mo moment after shocking moment. You really don't know what's going to happen. And that's the crazy thing. I kind of thought I knew what was going to happen in this movie. And then it totally went a different direction. And yeah, you really, you do not feel, you, you see things happening, but you don't like the Joker by the end of this movie. At least I don't. I mean, you definitely don't. And that's why I was kind of confused. I thought people were making it to where you totally felt for him. Oh. But... I mean, I really did not see that at all. And yeah, Joaquin Phoenix, as if I'm saying his name wrong, I'm sorry, but he is just absolutely amazing in this movie. I mean, he is so believable. It's kind of the point where it's like scary because, and you kind of feel, I kind of feel bad for him because it's almost like that situation with Heath Ledger is like he's almost too into the role that he might have like actually destroyed himself doing it. But he's so believable. I mean, I don't know how they, he got so skinny and all that stuff. 
totally wouldn't allow for this role. But yeah, this movie, there's just it's great acting all around. Very shocking moments, and I was intrigued basically the whole movie, and there wasn't that much action. And you know me, that that's my favorite part about movies. So the fact that it was able to entertain me this long without any action is definitely saying something for sure. And I mean, really, I was about to say good or negatives. I don't even know if I have one to be honest. Do you? I, mean, I, I have a couple of negatives. Just the fact that there wasn't. Uh, I mean, I, I would like to see a little more action. I wanted to see like more of a fully formed Joker at the end, and there, you do see Joker. Obviously, it's a Joker movie, but. Not as much as I was hoping. And there was also a couple other things I can't talk about in the non spoilers that I was hoping for, too. And it was, I wish it was a little more clear cut on what was flashbacks or what was like hallucinations and what wasn't real. There was some that you could just, it was obvious that you could tell, but a lot of it was kind of left for open for the audience to decide themselves. Like you can assume things were fake or that things didn't happen or things were happening, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like a scene happened all of a sudden, like it, the screen rippled and like, oh, that was fake. Like it was. Like, you could, I mean, it was really, I mean, I, 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 missed, I, yeah, I, I was, that's also a positive, too, because, like, it is giving the crowd a benefit of the doubt that they can figure it out on, the, on their own, but I do like to have a little more of a straightforward storyline a little bit with that. But also, the music, I thought was really good, too. There's some mm -hmm. really good music scenes, and, uh, and he dances a lot in this movie, so. Yeah, the soundtrack was really good. Which me, that was positive. Yeah, I guess for my negatives, really, there's just one thing at the end that was not even a nitpick, really, that I was telling you about before that I really can't say that's even a negative. I can't go over it non-spoilers. But I guess if I had to say, this kind of movie, I guess I can't even say that either, because I don't want to spoil anything. But I just really can't think of any glaring negatives at all. There's just a certain aspect about this is a Joker movie. So it's going to be about the Joker. It's about a villain. So naturally, it's not going to be like you're rooting for someone in this movie, and that's really how it is. I really can't think of any negatives, because I just think that this movie was... It was pretty crazy stuff that happened. I just can't really think of any negatives. Maybe one I'll go about, go about in spoilers, but yeah, the soundtrack is definitely something you mentioned that was just, it was amazing. I mean, just great it's, shots, it's, great cinematography. Just this, this movie definitely delivered on all cylinders for what it was supposed to be. It's about the Joker. It's not supposed to be an uplifting like movie where like you're no. rooting for him. It did that perfectly. It pulled off the Joker perfectly when there's been very good uh, renditions of them in the before, obviously with Heath, Heath Ledger taking a cake, the entire one, like, all of them, in my opinion, and uh, he did his own thing really cool. And once again, this movie is pretty much there's really no negatives in this film uh, besides just really small things that are nitpicking. So, grade. Yeah, for my grade for this movie for what it was, I had to give this movie a ten out of ten just because I mean it did it did nothing wrong. It did everything it was supposed to do. I mean it's not it's a different ten out of ten than maybe per se like Sugar Ass Roll Fall and Kenny were like. I was like, there's a lot of cool things, like boss shots. Like, there was a boss shot. Like, yeah. But I mean, it's a 10 out of 10 for what it was doing, and it did it perfectly, and also had no uh, political agendas either, really. It just did its own movie, and it was it's about the Joker. Yeah. It's about a comic book character, and it was a great origin story, and now when I see Joker, I can see, okay, that's what, at least in this Joker, what created this Joker, and it was really believable. Nothing was far-fetched about it, and it was just super real, which is why I added to the f uh, fear factor of it, too. Oh, yeah, it definitely... That, yeah, if I had to give a grade... I was just thinking, I have to give it a 10 out of 10, because I don't even know, I can't think of any negatives. I mean, if I can't think of any negatives, it was really just, it was crazy. It was such a good movie. Everything's good all around, the soundtrack, the filming, the cinematography, the same thing. And, yeah, it is very raw and brutal. There's just certain scenes that I was just in, like, shock of what happened, because it's that shocking. In a certain way, the scenes are filmed are just so brutal and, like, surreal, and it's definitely... This is the Joker that he's... Joaquin Phoenix is definitely up there with Heath Ledger as... I mean, I, I think he's easily up there. I don't want to say he's better than him yet, but he's definitely flipping close. And this movie is, was just absolutely crazy. I, I would, didn't have that much expectations, but definitely blew me away, for sure. I would like to say... Or I would like to see this character next to Batman or next to other like DC characters or next to Har Harley Quinn just to like see how he plays yeah. off of them because I see him how he is by himself, but I kinda, now I want to see how... He plays everyone else, so that's why Heath Ledger was such was great on his own, but he also was playing off other characters as well, which made him yeah. even better. So yeah, so that was our non spoiler review. We both gave it ten, 10 out of tens, and uh, definitely go check it out if you're uh, into superhero movies or if you just want to see the origin story of the Joker. And uh, even if you're not an action person, you may like this film more because there's not much action in it. Because that's how I felt. And if you are an action fan, like we are for the most part, like we do like good movies too. We still enjoyed it and, we're, and we like seeing action stuff. So take that for what it is. 
Thanks for watching. If you want to stick around for our spoilers discussion, it might be a separate video. So yeah. stay tuned for that to come out soon after. It won't be too long. But, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Uh, even if you don't watch that, yeah. Uh, even if you don't watch that, thanks for watching this one. And we'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Bye, guys. If you just...